We've known each other for a long time, Steve, and this is, to me, a pivotal moment for the country. I know, I, for example, I do three hours of radio every day, and I hear from my audience every day, and they are genuinely frightened about the economy, about energy, about open borders, all the things that is on that paper that Kevin has. How, how realistic is it that we can get all of this done? Well, Sean, I think it's so important that the American people finally said enough is enough. And look, there is a lot of despair out there. Families are struggling. And the real problem was they did not see Washington working for them because Washington was working against them. The problems families are facing from higher costs, inflation, high energy costs, open border, all created by President Biden, the extreme agenda of Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer. And so people said, OK, we've got one opportunity to at least put some checks and balances and send people willing to fight for the families that are left behind. And that was really at the heart of the rules package, because before we can go start fighting for those families, we had to change the way Washington worked. And that's really why the Democrats were so concerned about these rules changes, because they realized the party's over. The idea that you can write four or 5,000 page bills by dark of night, the old Pelosi way of you got to pass the bill to find out what's in it. Those days are over. So that 72-hour rule is rock solid. 72-hour rule, single subject bills, Sean, allowing members, all members, not just in leadership, but rank and file members to be engaged in the process of going to bat for those families who are struggling. And add amendments during the appropriations yeah. process. Yeah, that hadn't happened. You know, you know what